Hello comrades, Commissar Bro here today with Auto Dealership Tycoon from Diggity, that's right. This game, I'll just go ahead and get the, 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 the important information out. It's said to be released on October 23rd, it's going to be about $4.99 and it will be available on Steam. So this is a preview of the beta version of the game. And I gotta say, I'm gonna go ahead and put put the put the uh, cards on the table here. I used to be a car salesman, and also I used to work in the service department of the same dealership uh, that I was a car salesman at. So this game looked incredibly interesting to me in, in the sense, you know, it, it, it it's it, you know I have a background in it, so it looked very interesting. And with that said, I gotta say I'm I'm kind of like giddy. Because after playing this game for about 30 to 45 minutes, getting a feel for it, it's a very simple game, uh, but getting the feel for it, and it's just like, oh my god, <laughs> this is spot on. Like, it's, it's, of course, it gets rid of a lot of the mundanities and uh, a lot of the more complex stuff, but as for the simplistic design, it hits it dead on the nail, like, of what being... Uh, part of a dealership is what you do all day essentially so it's <laughs> it's incredibly interesting so with that said I'm just gonna go ahead we're gonna get right into the game uh, I'm going to continue my previous game and I'm just gonna explain everything as we go so essentially this is our dealership now again this is very simple um, it this is the this is the first building you basically as you get more money you upgrade to larger buildings that have more space so on so forth and I think this one's the biggest one yes that is indeed the biggest one building five is the biggest uh, building you can get so you can get more salesmen you get more foot traffic stuff like that uh, with that said you've also got the sales manager this is where you actually buy cars uh, brand new cars uh, this is where you can look at your used car inventory, and we're going to raise that a bit so that we actually make a little bit of money on it. And we're going to raise that one too. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I'm going to raise that a bit more. There we go. All right. Raise that a bit as well. Okay. Uh, and then you can put, like, what do you want your salesman to focus on selling? So a new car bias or a used car bias. Obviously, we're going for a new car biased because I have more of them than I do uh, used cars, so I'm going to want to try to sell uh, these n new cars. Uh, with that said, you've also got multiple um, companies, obviously, for licensing reasons. You've got Ford and GEW, Lanza and Yotoya. That's right, Yotoya. Yotoya, that's kind of a hard, that's a tough one to pronounce, Yotoya. It's like a tongue twister. But anyway, yeah, so you've got multiple different cars to choose from. There's not a whole bunch of cars, and I'm kind of sad there's no um, Chrysler variants because that's actually the dealership that I used to work for uh, was a Chrysler Dodge Ram uh, dealership So and Jeep. That was interesting. It was interesting. So needless to say, well, you sort of have like these. It's kind of like, I mean, obviously it's meant to be like a forerunner, but whatever. Anyway, so yeah, cars. <laughs> you sell cars, and you right-click to actually change the price. So you can, you know, go up or down depending on, depending on how your sales are doing. You also have a service department, which you click on the service manager here. You make sure you have the right amount of parts in stock. You can't really change the prices on the parts used or other, uh, which is, uh, it's understandable. It's, un it's pretty understandable. Like when you're buying it stock from the uh, manufacturer, in this case, it's a uh, Yatoya, so Toyota. If you're actually buying the parts from them, it's pretty much a set cost. You're not going to make as much money as you would off of used car parts and whatnot. And the same goes with used cars. Uh, to give a quick rundown of my experience as a salesman, essentially a new car, we only made like 100 bucks. That's all you would make on it. Um, so that's like chump change. <laughs> if you sell a brand new car, especially when you're selling a brand new car that's like, you know, $40,000, $50,000, and you only get $100 on it. But used cars, because you're generally picking them up out of uh, auctions or they are trade-ins, 
when you get them, uh, you can pretty much set a price on it, depending on the quality of the car, the type of the car, the year of the car, how many miles are on the car, so on and so forth. So with that in mind, generally used cars were the ones that you would make the serious money on. Now, this game kind of, kind of follows that premise, in a sense. Um, obviously, you can get a car for a certain amount of money, um, and you can raise it, but still, the customer is not going to pay, you know, maybe 100% of how much you paid for it. Let's say you paid $5,000 for uh, this particular car here. Well, in, in real life, you can actually turn around and sell that Joker for about $10,000, so you make a $5,000 profit. It doesn't happen often, but, I mean, you can. Uh, depending on the quality of the car, depending on how much someone takes for the trade and depending on how much you get it for at the auction, so on and so forth. So yeah, 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 this, this it's, it's interesting. Then you also have upgrades. Now the upgrades are pretty simple. Um, oh, well, no, I just noticed this. I didn't realize they actually had the actual just regular upgrades that you can get. So you can actually get a car lot upgrade, uh, new employee advertising, increased chance of new hires, and so on and so forth. Oh, okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can actually get. So I was I, I didn't even realize this. I thought it was just the uh, the other <laughs> thing. So yeah, see I'm learning something new. Wow, there's a whole bunch of upgrades, but you need the building the buildings uh, to keep upgrading to them to be able to get those. Um, and then they all have associated costs per day or just an outright lump sum cost of how much that would cost as well. So yeah, it's very interesting, very interesting with the upgrades there. You've also got your salesmen, your sales employees, the manager, finance manager, service manager, service employees. And as you can see here, it gives their name, it gives their skill, and it gives their uh, overall, like how much you pay them a day uh, thing. Instead of going with a, which, and I understand this, instead of going with an actual, like, percentage, because generally a salesman gets paid on whatever the percentage is, uh, uh, like, of, of the dealership he works at. So, like, the one that I worked at, I can't really remember, but I think the one that I worked at, it was like, uh, you would get, for a used car anyway, you'd get, like, 20%, I think, maybe? Could be wrong. But it was, like, 20% or so. So, if you sold a car for, again, it was a used car, you, the dealership got it for 5000 you sold it for 5000 you get 20% of it, then you're getting $1,000 on that one car. So, you know, it's pretty good money. But in this one, it's more of just, yeah, it's just a lump sum. Keep it simplistic, which is understandable, and to a degree I can agree with. So it makes sense. It makes sense why to go that route. Uh, and then finally, you have the finance manager, which literally just shows you what you've got going on, and it gives you the option to purchase more dealerships as you get richer. Now, the big thing you want to focus on here is the customer service rating, which is a big deal. Anybody who's ever worked at a dealership knows that your customer service rating is a make or break situation. Like, if you have a bad customer service rating, when people are looking to buy a car and they see that, they will not come to you. If they see your service department has a bad customer service rating, they will not come to you. They will drive, you know, 30 minutes. They will drive an hour to go to someone else uh, just so they do not have to deal with you and they don't have to deal with your company. So that was like when I was a serv when I worked in the service department of this particular dealership. To me, that was a really big deal. Was making the customer happy. Now, don't get me wrong. I w it wasn't like I was going to bend over backwards for him. But you know, doing your best to make sure that if somebody comes in for service, that their car gets finished on time and they are out the door, and you provide the services that they paid for. That was a big deal, and that's why I had consistently high CSR ratings. So, <laughs> I mean, this is spot on, and I'm honestly, I'm this, I'm, I'm having a blast with this game because it is, it's simplistic and it's still in beta, mind you, but it is definitely spot on. Now, and again, there's a couple of uh, positions that have been eliminated for, again, the sake of simplicity, but it, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Look at this customer claims somebody defecated in the back seat of his car while the car was parked in your lot. Will you put on the rubber gun to clean the car? Yes, we will. And see, look at that. Because of that, we lost $1,000 somehow, um, probably on the, the, the cleaning supplies or replacing the seats or something. But anyway, so we got a plus two to our CSR rating. Again, the customer is always right. And that is something uh, that has been drilled into my little commissar brain. 
Yes, that's right. So, this is literally how the game plays. It's all turn-based, so you end your turn, uh, but you've got to make sure you have the right amount of inventory. Now, you will have consistent little no-sales type scenarios here where people come in and they just literally just no sale and the only um, indicative like the only real reason for that is price as far as I've seen I haven't seen any other explanation as to why there wouldn't be a sale uh, as far as I've played so let's see yeah have enough cash for the car and the parts of course so yeah 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 I mean this is the game this is pretty much the entire gist of it it's very simplistic there's not a whole lot going on here but again for those like me who have been in this environment and uh you know it's it's very it's it's simplistic but it's you know it is what it is i mean it's 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 a business a business a lot of times is really not that complicated it's as it's as complicated as a customer wants something um they come into your store because more than likely you're the one who has what they need they want a new car in this case they come in to buy a car and it is what it is. You sell them the car. Now, of course, when you start adding in other businesses to the mix and whatnot, it gets more complicated. And then you add in customer service ratings, it gets a little bit more complicated. And but that you know the essence of it, this this is this gets it. And that's why I really I very much like this game. And I'm very very happy that Diggity was so kind. Uh, to provide me a copy of it uh, to, to actually preview and beta test because <laughs> this is just this is just this is perfect this is perfect the one thing though that I noticed this doesn't have that real life is like is uh, the customers are coming right into the dealership right you're not having to worry about going out there and talking to customers and being like trying to get them to come into the dealership. Now, see, that was the real struggle uh, with the actual the, the selling of a car for me when I was a car salesman was getting them to come in because a lot of times, you know, people don't trust car salesmen. They think they're shady individuals, and some of them are, but it's just like any other industry, any other business. You've got people who are good people, and then you've got people who are shady. So, you know, and like, but they, would they, they cast that net over the whole crowd. So it, you know, people like me ended up having a lot of trouble selling, uh, these cars to these people because they're like, oh, this dude is a shady MFer. He's just trying to take my money, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so, you know, it's, yeah, that, that's the interesting part is you don't have to worry about actually going out and finding them. They come to you. They come right in, and that makes this game a lot. Uh, it makes it a lot easier, which is which is a good thing. By the way, one other thing I'll mention about the game is, aside from news, is you actually have car auctions. You go in here and you bid however amount of money that you want. So in this case, I bid that much. Sandy's Auto Mall just bid nine thousand. And this is the only real time that you see a serious competitive competitiveness in the ver in the game that I'm playing so far. There doesn't seem to be a whole bunch of competitiveness between uh, the dealerships in this case. You pretty much just focus on your own, and you have a pretty good selection of cars, like I said, to auction from quite every time, which makes sense because you know that's that's what an auction is. <laughs> you're getting uh, cars that were repoed, or you're getting. Um, you know, for some reason, that car just, it's been passed around lot to lot, never sold anywhere else, so you can sell some of your remaining inventory, and so on and so forth. Needless to say, I like this game. I very, very much like this game. It's simple. It's to the point. It, it, it's not muddled and complicated by any means of the imagination. Um, but I, at the same time, it gets the essence of working in a, a dealership. It really does. And that, it, just, to me, that is just, I'm giddy. I'm literally giddy because it's like I'm a car salesman again. <laughs> it's like I'm working in a service department again. And it's, it's incredibly interesting. And honestly, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's a good game. I like it. And it's only going to be $4.99 and it comes out in less than a month. So if this is your type of thing, if you like cars, if you like tycoon games, then I, I very heartily recommend this. 
Um, and I will probably do another video, like an actual review video of it when it comes out. So it's probably not right that I'm already, like, I'm already shilling for this game because it's just so... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of fanboying out right now. I'm just, you know, memories, man, memories. But anyway, this has been Comments Our Bro. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to any degree, and I hope you all have a magnificent evening. See you guys next time.